What's up everybody, Todd here. Would you like to be able to tune your truck without having to remove or unlock your factory computer? Well, check out the Pulsar from Edge products that we're installing on our new body Ram 1500. Now, this is a really smart design that nobody else is using. It has a super easy install that goes between your ECM and the main harness. What it does is it intercepts the signal coming from your computer and it adjusts it before it sends it to the engine. It offers optimized tuning and throttle sensitivity for fuel efficiency, towing, or performance. It also gives you the option to disable MDS. That's a system in your truck that will shut down cylinders in your engine. Now that's perfect for people who have had mechanical issues with that system, or if you just don't want your truck to enter into that mode. Now let me show you how easy it is to install and set up. All right, here we are with the hood up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the negative terminal off of the battery using a 10 millimeter. Okay, here is our ECM and here's our two harnesses going into the ECM. Uh, each one of them have a little red lever going to it and they each also have a little lever lock. What we have to do to release these is push in on the lever lock and then pull up on the lever. Once the lever is pulled up, we can go ahead and disconnect and set that to the side. Do that with both of them. All right, now we're gonna use an eight millimeter, remove three bolts, this one here, this one, and this one. We're gonna do this one first. We've actually got a ground wire that's connected behind that, so keep in mind of where that ground wire goes when we pull this bolt out. Then we'll pull out this one, and as we're pulling this one out, we're gonna hold on to the ECM to make sure it doesn't drop whenever this bolt comes all the way out. Okay, here's our factory ECM. These are the three holes that we pulled the, the bolts out of. Here's our Pulsar. These plugs are gonna line right up to here, these connectors. And these holes right here are gonna line up to the coordinating holes that the bolts came out of. What we're gonna do is once we get that lined up, we're gonna take, put this on a flat surface and press down to where it fully engages. And then we can take and reinstall this into the truck. Okay, here's our ECM and Pulsar module. We're gonna go ahead and line it back up. We've got some new bolts that we're gonna use uh, to line up. Now, with this ground wire, make sure the ground wire is between the bracket and the ECM, not between the ECM and the Pulsar. So we're gonna go ahead and line that bolt up first. Go ahead and line up the next bolt. We're gonna line up everything before we tighten anything down. And once we tighten it down, we're gonna tighten it down with a four millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, now we've got them all lined up. Let's go ahead and tighten them down with that four millimeter Allen wrench. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the ECM harness and push down the red levers.
we're going to go ahead and reconnect the negative battery terminal using a 10 millimeter. Okay, now this particular truck has push button start. So what we're going to do is come over here to the button and press it until we get to the run mode. Next, what we want to do, once the screen pops up here, we want to go into our screen setup mode. So I'm going to press the up button until we're at screen setup and hit OK. All right, next we're going to go to our center screen. So go up to center, hit OK. And now what we want to do is scroll until we get to our audio mode. Once we're in audio, click OK. All right, now from audio, I can come over here and press the cruise cancel button. And now you'll see up top it says stock. If I so stock is going to give you exactly stock settings, uh, your sensitivity and your tuning is all stock. If I press up, now it's stock with MDS off. MDS is your multi displacement system. Um, MDS is what shuts down your cylinder. So if you want to run stock and just turn off MDS, this is how you do it. Next up, we've got economy. So this is going to be for fuel efficiency. That's where your pedal and your tuning is optimized for fuel efficiency. Uh, next, we've got economy with MDS off. Next, we've got your tow mode. Tow with MDS off. Then we've got performance and performance with MDS off. Now, both of your performance modes are going to boost you about 30 horsepower. Uh, so you want to make sure you use at least 91 octane in those modes. Okay, now I want to go ahead and show you how to adjust something like uh, our tire size change, right? So this truck comes with a 31.9 inch tire from the factory. We've actually got a 33 inch tire on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and get into the run mode again. I also want to make sure once we come up that we are in the center screen mode. So we're going to go up to uh, our uh, uh, setup screen, hit OK. All right, we're going to go up here to center. All right, we're already in audio, so I'm going to press and hold the cruise cancel button for about five seconds. Once it switches to tire size, what we're going to do is we're going to use the accelerator pedal to select. Now, the further you push down the accelerator pedal, it'll get to a Y for yes. Once we're at Y, we're going to hit the set plus button. All right. Now we can select either English or metric. If I pull off of the accelerator pedal, it's going to go to metric. We're going to keep it down to English or select English, right? And now we are at the diameter. So 31.9 is factory. Um, I am going to keep it at three and hit set. All right, now I'm going to lift up until I get to 33, hit set. And now I'm going to lift all the way off because 33.0 and set. Now I can go to the axle ratio. If I want to adjust axle ratio, I just press in on the accelerator pedal. But we're not going to do that. So we're going to go back. Uh, we're not going to adjust anything on the program. We're not going to read or clear any diagnostic trouble codes. Uh, so there we go. All tunes and settings are kept on the Pulsar module, so if you decide to remove it for warranty work, there's no trace it was ever installed. Pulsar module is backed by a one-year warranty and lifetime product support. We ship it for free to anywhere the law allows in lower 48 states. So if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.